everyone, it's Alfred, and welcome back to another Friday Night Roguelikes. So, um, this episode, as you may have been able to identify from the title, we're playing Angband. Possibly Angbad, as I had it written down. Um, this one is even more Tolkien and D&D &D than the last one. In fact, it's specifically Tolkien, with a couple flavors of D&D. &D. So, I'm just going to jump right in. As you know, Friday Night Roguelikes is the show where I play a roguelike for an hour to an hour and a... Well, it used to be an hour, now it's an hour and a half. And just kind of examine them. And this is one of the older ones. Um, it's not as old as Rogue or Moria, but it's the one that basically came out after Moria, and it's another upgrade to that. So, here we can actually see a alignment of stats. So, half-elves are smarter, more dexterous, and prettier, but weaker, not you know, particularly strong, and that's about it. Our hit die is decided by our race, which I guess makes sense. Elves, and uh, they have a D10 just like humans. Get a little more experience, and we get Infravision. So you can see that this is already much more D&D um, &D than Moria is, and Moria and Rogue are already very, very D&D. &D. Um... This is a very old game. You can probably see the uh, age of it in the description. Ooh, big shakeups for the Hobbit. Gnomes don't have a lot going on. I guess they're smart and dexterous, but that's about it. Dwarves are very, very tough. Half orc, half troll. Wow, that's tough. Dunedon, high elf, and kobold. Okay, well, that's per my usual. Half Elf Rogue. Name it Alfred. Grayed out entries should only be used by advanced players. Interesting. Um, I'm kind of jumping in because it's very, very similar to Moria. It's kind of just a like spiced up remake of Moria almost. Like, look at it. I want high decks. Oh, I think I just had it. There we go. Your father was of the Nandor. You're one of several children of a serf. You're credit to the family. You have brown eyes, wavy black hair, and a dark complexion. All right. Um, so yeah, I the reason I'm kind of skipping over it, but this is Angband. Angband is another thing from Tolkien's Legendarium, the Tolkien Cinematic Universe, if you prefer. Uh, it's another location, just like Moria is, and that's where the name of this comes from. The boss of this, I believe, is Morgoth. And for those who don't know... Morgoth is Sauron's boss. Not to be used with Sodomon. Morgoth is like the god of evil, more or less. Well, he's like a satanic chaos figure, at least. I don't know if just saying he is a god is fair. He's an Ainu. Yeah, he's an Ainu, right? Or god, is he a Valar? Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, enter to accept. And, like usual, I'm Alfred. Cue to suicide. Ask to start over or any other key to continue. Please wait. Wow. Look at that. Look, I've got a little sprite and everything. That's wild. So, naturally, this is, again, very, very similar to the intro of your home. You may exit from building purchase all right guess we're gonna oh well that still works why not just go in you know let's just this level can't be all bad wow that's really dark it's even more there's a wall in the way you know it's even more starkly dark when the like world actually has colors yeah this is a labyrinth i'll be <laughs> of that i'm damn sure soldier ant you missed the soldier ant the soldier ant bites you you hit it it bites me you hit it it bites me you hit it, it misses me. You hit it and it flees in terror. Get back here. 
You hit it? You hit it? I've killed a soldier ant. All right. Interesting. So this is the first time I've actually seen this game running. I knew that it was... So do I... O to open? Yeah, all right. So that still works. O to open that. Okay. All right. See, it's just very, very much... Another, like, roguelike, you know? It plays like Moria. That's not a bad thing, to be sure. This is a, you know... They're both good games. This is also another good game. Oh, another door. Damn. What about this way? Whoa, what happened there? This is why you shouldn't rust places. A wall. The white worm mass. Yeah, I'm just kind of very confused by this almost. Pick up a broken sword? Yeah, sure. It's 1D2. Great. Because ever see a D2 in real life? I have. It's a coin. It's just a penny. It's nothing special, really. It's just anything that has two sides that you can flip. I'm poisoned. You hit the white worm mass. So notice those little stars have gone away. Oh, uh-oh. This is trouble. Oh, I'm no longer poisoned. It's a wall in the way. Oh. Here, I thought I was going to do a funny, like, oh, I'm no longer poisoned, and then I just keel over dead. Can I still wait? Oh, God. All right. I guess I can't. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. I guess I'll be back in just a second. And hey, we're back. I decided to make a, uh, dwarf man just to see if a, uh, just to see if it's a different sprite. And it is. What a boring place. Which is interesting. I like that. It looks like his skin's a little darker, which is interesting. And he's got a little red jumper on. Kind of looks like he's wearing a... Uh... Oh. Kind of looks like he's wearing a sword. What's this? Pick up a clear potion? Sure. You know, normally I would say that's uh, water there, fam. Iron spikes, all right. I can lock doors with those if I remember. It was two weeks ago that I, um, pile of rubble. Well, can I bash it? Can't read books. Okay. Cool. Maybe I'll come back. So it was two weeks ago that I recorded Moria, as well as it was... Okay, interesting. Two weeks ago that I uploaded Moria. So this is a rare instance where uh, you're actually seeing things going up at the right time. Like just recently, I uh, recorded episodes that are supposed to go up in August. Like today, I recorded things that are meant to go up in August. But I also recorded things that are meant to go up at the start of June. So what I'm getting at here is that my recording schedule is a bit eclectic. So it's kind of random for me to actually... D? Oh, cool. Wield D. Wield E? Damn. I. Okay, wield G. Cool, now I got a sword. 
Oh, and there's little icons for it. That's neat. The jackal bites me. I kill the jackal. No kidding. Oh, and then now I can just see. Of course, why didn't I take the torch to begin with? I'm a fool. So just as with um, Moria, there's the shop that you can buy stuff in. I chose not to because I fooled around with a shop enough when I recorded Moria. And I don't intend to this time. Oh, holy shit. The jackal wakes up. The jackal wakes up. The jackal wakes up. Jackal bites me. You've slain the jackal. Jackal bites me. You hit and slay the jackal. You hit and slay the jackal. You hit and slay the jackal. So is that a little bar towards the bottom of my screen there? Is that a... um? Slay the jackal. Slay the jackal. Nice. Is that um stamina? Like, almost Dark Souls-esque? Like, in that, you know, you, you use stamina in fights and it comes back quickly, but you gotta watch it. Because that's kind of interesting. Well, it looks like here just leads to the next down floor, so... Oh, I guess that leads up. Hmm. Open door? Yeah, all right. I really like how uh, the lighting works in this game where you walk into somewhere and see the, the things open. The, the, like, the lights break into the room. Open down. Oh, there we go. Gold speckled potion. It's a wall in the way. It's rubble. Can I see to clear? Close. Right. How about capital C? Oh. I guess that's just my stat screen. Oh, brother. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> this is just a little unfortunate. All right. I'll be right back with another Alfred. All right. I'm back. I'll be honest, now that I'm actually playing this, I might not do another, I mean, I already am not doing 30 minute episodes. I mean, an hour long episodes. Just because like, man, sometimes I don't have that much to say, but like, I have even less to say. Like, it's not even like, like the game isn't even bad. This is a good game. And in fact, I would say it's probably better than Moria just because it has more stuff going on. I like I really love how the world just like how the light fills out when you walk in somewhere. Eh, I can leave you alone actually. But like I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to play cuz like I might just I mean if the episode's shorter you'll have already seen it but like I don't even know what to say about this like it is Moria, you know. And that's not a bad thing cuz Moria was a good game. It still is. But like I'm just I'm just kind of at a loss of how to describe this. And like, you know, it's not particularly a bad thing to be like, hey, your game is too similar to this other great game, you know? Like if it's a case of like Half-Life 2 versus Inversion, like, hey, you have you have somehow made a... You've ripped off a game and you did it worse than the game did it 10 years ago or like seven years ago or whatever. But this is like... You hit the giant green frog giant green frog bites you and again you hit it and it scampers away you hit it yeah i'm pretty sure that's like my stamina right there it flees in terror it bites me you hit it come back here you hit it you hit it Oh, is it the enemy health? That would make more sense, actually. Oh, cool. I love when people build walls like this where they just leave a like, hole there. But yeah, like, this game isn't bad. And, like, as a result, I can't, like, say anything like, oh, well, they could have done this better. But, like, it doesn't have anything going on that isn't, like, really better or worse than Moria besides the graphics. It's still just, you know, it's another roguelike. It's of the same era. It's of the same genre. It's of the same type. 
control scheme like well yes i'm uh not using my torch why would i do that the clear icky thing touches you you hit that clear icky thing where did it go oh god oh geez it's like when you try to hit a spider and it runs away and then you just you're now trapped in your house with a spider it's a wall in my way great or rubble excuse me what the hell oh i just happened to bumble down the right path interesting What about capital P? Damn. I'm trying to see if there's like a dedicated lock picking button. What? What? What happened there? That was kind of weird. Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of at a loss of what to even say about this. Like, it's not bad. It's just not better, you know? It looks a little better to see with your eyes, but like, I, like, I don't even know, you know? That's, that's all. I just, I can't talk about it. Oh, boy, here more clear icky things. Maybe I'll go away. I'll go this way. You go home. Can I open you? I can. And there's something. A scroll titled Te... Temipfuyin. Oh, yeah. I will take it. Stairs. Oh, wait. So is the... So the... Interesting. So the way that the staircase is oriented is actually how the thing goes oh i see that's uh that's unfortunate <clears throat> well um hmm you know that could honestly be it i uh i saw moria i saw Angbad, it's not too different, honestly. Um, you know, and that's not bad. Like I said, it's just it's just similar, and like I feel, <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of maybe rearranging or no? What am I looking for? I'm asking for too much by like playing a bunch of games in the same genre and being like, man, they're really similar. But like the the idea of rogue. And the idea of randomly generated areas is very unique. It's very special. You can do a lot of things with it. So that's why I'm really diving in here. I originally did Rogue and Moria back to back to like get a baseline. And a lot of things like to me said play Angbad after after Moria. The reason for that is because they're rather similar. And you're gonna get what you can't you're gonna get what you got in Moria, but a little better. And yes, it is an improved experience, yeah. But um, it's just not very different. And uh, to me, that says branch out, play more stuff. I played uh, Doom Rogue like last week, and by last week, I mean uh, uh, today. But I uploaded it last week. So, honestly, yeah, I'm just going to have to branch out. Get more... Uh, Get more inventive. Uh, my voice is trailing off because I hear something scratching behind me, and it could be my cat, or it could be the fan I have on my room to cool my room off, or it could also be a rat crawling around inside my ceiling, soon to be inside of my own head. I mean, he's already in there, you know. He's joined the rest of my insecurities. I digress, though. That's Angband. That's not bad. This is how. Let me actually show you. This is how I've been playing it. Um, it's DOSBox, just like I was playing um, Rogue, and how I attempted to play Moria. Uh, it's all right, you know? There's really only so much that I can say about it, like I've been saying. And, like, 
you know, maybe it's just that I, Alfred, should not have started a show where I play a bunch of games of the same genre and request that they all be unique, separate, different experiences. But yeah, um, this one was just particularly uh, kind of, ooh, hi, because, you know, Angband and Moria are the same, like, Angband is just a remake of Moria, and like, huh. Resident Evil 1 is really similar to Resident Evil 1 on the GameCube. Weird. But yeah, like I said, um, not a bad thing. I have probably talked for far too long. I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next week. Next week, I'm going to do something weird. I don't know what, but I'll do it. Um, and by that, I'm going to play a roguelike that is a little atypical. I'm not going to, like, slap my own nuts on camera. But if I get enough Patreon subscribers... No. No. That'll uh, that'll be on my OnlyFans only. I digress. I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. Next week will be something weird that's still within the roguelike genre. Um, remember to brush your teeth. And if you can't remember that, remember to use mouthwash. All right. I've been Alfred. Thank you.